Greetings all frog here, let's play Geo Guys. So we've been challenged by Nola. And this challenge is a the first of three parts that I have so far. And it is a restaurant challenge. I know it's Tuesday. You're expecting Statelands or the Queendom, but I'm doing something a little different for the next three weeks. I'm gonna be playing Nola's restaurant challenge. Uh, these are the initial locations of in this case, McDonald's, but in other cases, other things. So um that is, uh, that's it. But the restaurants, I'm assuming they're mostly American restaurants because she is American, but you never know. So this appears to be on, uh, Historic Route 66. But it's McDonald's. It's the first McDonald's restaurant. Apparently it was no longer a restaurant. San Bernardino, stay strong. So I'm assuming that we're in San Bernardino, California. Where apparently McDonald's started. Which is crazy, because I thought it started somewhere on the East Coast. There's uh, history involved with all this, by the way. Alright, I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna go find San Bernardino and go to an, an East Street, or East Street, rather, not East Street. Somewhere by Historic Route 66, which probably is not labeled as such. San Bernardino, California. Is that by LA or San Francisco? It's by San Francisco. No, it's not. Oh. I think it is by LA. I think it's right where I was. I just didn't zoom in far enough. No? Is it south of LA? Where the hell is San Bernardino, California? It's on the coast. I know that. And it's not on the coast. You know what? No, it's not on the coast. It's, it is by LA. But it's in the east. There it is. E Street. E Street. Well, you know what? We could do this exact. E Street and what? 14th. 14th Street. It doesn't say. I'm going to say 14th Street North. Oh, there you go. Historic McDonald's Museum. We're right in front of that. Boom. McDonald's. In 1940, Maurice and Richard McDonald. They were actually people. I, <laughs> I don't know why that's surprising to me. I did not know that. Moved their father's food stand, the Airdrome, from Monrovia to San Bernardino and renamed it McDonald's Barbecue. Sure, so I don't think about McDonald's and barbecue together. It functioned as a car hop drive in until 1948 when the brothers restructured the business to focus on burgers and fries and changed the name to McDonald's. Yeah, because they don't definitely don't do barbecue. While the North East Street location is no longer a functioning Mickey D's, the building's current owner, Juan Polo Restaurants, Juan Pollo? Probably Juan Pollo Restaurants, utilizes the space as both their corporate headquarters and an unofficial McDonald's museum. The oldest operating McDonald's restaurant is in Downey, California. There you go. It's a playground on um, Bluff Street. That looks like an expressway on the other side of that wall. Um, okay. There's definitely not a restaurant here right now. Take me on to the expressway. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, I clicked on return to start. I'm like, what the hell happened? All right. Well, we're on Bluff Street. We can get to the expressway. I'm, I'm certain of it. Longview Neighborhood Park. Bluff is a dead end. I got that. because I'm trying to get to the expressway. Which is right there. Get me on the expressway. No, nope. right, it's fine. We're on Quinton Street. Let's see if I can see any signs. Oh, there's one. West 400 and something at Hillside. Get me over there. Yeah! Okay. 54 and 400. So we're on US 54. Okay. At Hillside. And 400. Well, let's let's see if we can find them. 54 is right about in the middle of the uh, U.S. somewhere. 54. It's too far down. All right, there's 54. I'm going to put that right there just so we don't lose it. 54, of course, goes all sorts of places, but... I need 54 and 400. There's 54 and 400. It looks like they come together outside of Wichita. As falls Wichita, so falls Wichita Falls, as we know. That's 54 coming down the Kansas Turnpike. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. 54, 400 in Augusta. Is 
but not the streets that I want that are in Augusta. Wait, 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 wait. I lie. There is Bluff Street right there. But that's not what I need. You know what I mean? It's not the correct bluff. It's a Taco Tico. All right, what is this exit? It's Grove Street. See, that looks like a normal, that looks like a normal road. I think it's just coincidental that there's a bluff and a cliff in this one. It's not the right bluff and cliff. Keep it moving. Looking for Grove Street. That goes to the turnpike. Looking for Grove. It's Greenwich. So close. Basically the same. That's Groves. That's on Web Road. It's Peachtree, my god. We can't get away from Atlanta. There's Hillside. Alright, cool. So we're at the Hillside exit right now. And we had west towards Grove, so the next one should be Grove, and it is. Okay, so we're in here somewhere. There's a park. It's a cemetery. That's the cemetery. Okay, there's Bluff Street. Fantastic. We're right there. I don't know what this is, but that's where we are. Okay, it's Pizza Hut, actually. Uh, opened in 1958 by brothers Dan and Frank Carney in their hometown of Wichita, Kansas. The two knew they wanted to have pizza in their new establishment's name, but didn't decide on hut until they discovered the building's sign only had room for nine letters, and that the structure itself looked like a hut. In 1986, the original hut was moved to the campus of Wichita State University, the Carney Brothers' alma mater, where it was used by the International Business Student Association as a meeting place, so it must probably was at that park. 63rd and Lex. No, 63rd and 1st. It, it, it looks like New York City, doesn't it? I mean, it just, it looks like New York City. 63 and 1st. We're on 1st Avenue. Let's go down 1st Avenue. Yeah, I mean, there's New York license plates all over the place. We're in New York. New York's gym. Yeah, yeah. 63 and 1st. Well, that's easy to find. All right. 63. I almost zoomed right in on it. 63rd and... First. Okay, what is this? TGI Fridays! Huh. Looking for a place to... Oh, why won't it see? Oh, because the window's... I got you. I'm with you. Looking for a place to meet people, especially the eligible women he noticed in his Manhattan neighborhood, Alan Stillman took the initiative and founded a bar and restaurant before it opened in 1965. What? Okay, anyway, singles bars were a rarity. Fridays is even credited as being one of the first bars to use Ladies' Night as a promotion. The original TGI Fridays closed in 1994 and is now the Baker Street Pub and Grill. Crazy. Well, now we're in Georgia. We're on the Georgia 10. We could have been founded in Georgia. It's interesting. I mean, none of, oh, could be the old Waho. It's got a historical marker out front. It's no longer an actual Waho. It's just a museum. That's sad. God, I love a good Waffle House. Yes, yeah, so we're in Georgia on the 10. Um, I don't know what city that is. 10 in Arcadia. It's probably outside of Atlanta, if I had to make a guess, which I will have to do in a moment. Also, Sam's Crossing. Now it's College Avenue, the Georgia 10. It's also the East 278, which is much easier to see on the screen. Let's uh, see if there's a 278 somewhere in Atlanta. There's 78. No, I do not see 278. Okay, that's fine. 278 also goes to Athens. And Augusta, there's 278. Is that college? I think we're down um, over Savannah Way, since that would be Georgia, and we're not in Georgia anymore after you get through Augusta. Well, let's look at Augusta. 
Let's see, it comes in 278. Oh, and then, and then stops. Okay, well, we're not on the Georgia 10, certainly, if we're not in Georgia. So let's go down to Savannah. Number 278 uh, also doesn't exist. Solid. That's perplexing. 278 must go through Augusta. But I don't see the Georgia 10 anywhere either. It must restart somewhere. Three seventy-eight. Hmm. Perplexing. When you come down to Savannah and seventy-eight, two seventy-eight doesn't make it in there either. Two seventy-eight goes down through Hilton Head. Which means it's more likely to be in the north somewhere. We're gonna have to get more clues. Oh wait, it says it says right there. Avondale Estates city limit. Avondale Estates. There's the ten. Which is 129, the 441. I mean, it's the 10. So follow it, I guess. The 10 is this loop. This is perplexing. Do you see my frustration here? <sighs> I just, I don't see Avondale Estates on the map. It's definitely US 278. Marta, isn't that the the um, Atlanta's regional transit? Commerce Drive. You know, I probably should have looked at that bus. Well, it might just say Avondale. Go Falcons. Yeah, we're in Atlanta somewhere. Okay. Very strange. <clears throat> So obviously 278 and the Georgia 10 appear here somewhere. Anybody see Avondale Estates? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? I just don't see 278 anywhere. I don't see the Georgia 10 anywhere. I don't see Avondale Estates anywhere. There's a 10. Oh, we found it. All right, there's a 10. It's definitely not Memorial. Chick-fil-A, that's another thing we could probably find in Atlanta. I think that was in Atlanta. Honestly, don't know. 10 goes off this way. And hits the 278. That's crazy. Here's Avondale Road. It's your parents' basement. That is a hilarious name for a bar. There's Sam's Crossing. That's an actual Waffle House. That's a start. It's at the corner of this and what? 
Hillmont. Hillmont goes south. Livingston, Delrose, Hillmont. That's it. Boom. I'm assuming number four will be Waffle House. And it is. Joe Rogers Sr. and Tom Forkner opened the first Waffle House in 1955 and remain involved with the company to this day. The original location is now the Waffle House Museum, where you can make your own waffles in its unchanged interior. Drink to the waffles. Ah. Alright, five of five. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, apparently. The original Dunkin' Donuts location established 1950 in the 617 area code. Massachusetts 3A. Must be near Canada. It's the Massachusetts three, eh? Excuse you. Which is Southern Artery. I'm assuming of Boston. I hate to break it to you, car. I'm going this way. You may not want me to, but I, I am going that way. Oh, wait, come back. Does that just say Massachusetts 3A? I bet it does. Yeah, alright, fine. Look, Massachusetts isn't that big. I think we're by Boston. There's the 3A. What else was it called? Hancock Street? No, it was some. It was the Southern Artery. Three A doesn't continue. It appears no. Okay. Wendy's. There's a goodwill. Which way am I going? I'm going east. Mm. Field Street! Found it! We're right by the Quirk Ford. Doesn't say anything about the Dunkin' Donuts. You got the, the map view shaft right there. Dunkin' Donuts! Before America was running on Dunkin', it was a simple donut shop on Southern Artery. Yes, like the heart in Quincy, Massachusetts. I don't get it. The location opened in 1948 under the name Open Kettle. Then a year later it became Kettle Donuts. Then a year after that it finally became Dunkin' Donuts. While the building has been remodeled over the years, it still maintains the original aesthetic. That, my friends, is Nola's famous restaurant beginnings challenge. Number one, there are two more forthcoming. Maybe there'll be more. I don't know, but I have three in the queue. Well, now I have two in the queue. And uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for sending that one in. Excuse me. If you'd like to do your own challenge, you just head on over to geocenter.ml. That is the new home of Geocenter, where you can put in five locations that then gives you a link that you send to me over a private message on YouTube preferred. That's not a new service. I just prefer it on YouTube. And then I will add you to the schedule, just like Nola's challenge here. Thanks again for sending in the restaurant part one challenge. Nola, I really do appreciate it. And I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. Until next time, cheers.